bad lighting. Hey Blessed Family, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Tuesday and I actually originally was not planning on vlogging today, but something just kept nagging me and telling me to pick up that camera and vlog. So I don't know how many days I'm gonna vlog, but I'm gonna do a little vlog for y'all. First, apartment updates. I just mopped my floor, which is why everything is over here. But in my last vlog, I told you what I wanted to get a new TV. So I did just get this TV from Best Buy. I believe it's a 50 inch, it's a fire TV. So it's by Amazon. And I did just get these really cute luggages by GC Couture. I also got a smaller one, it's inside of here. And I previously had this black and white one from BB. I purchased both of these from Marshalls by the way. But I couldn't find the large one. And this one I found the large and the small. So I'm going to actually exchange this and use the money to get some more clothes. Also my washer is going so that's what that noise is. See I just got those luggages today which is pretty exciting. I'm getting a wax today. I was gonna go running because we do go running on Tuesdays but I think I'm just gonna actually chill today because one of my friends can't go so I think I'm gonna chill instead. But I'm getting a wax. I'm doing something else interesting today. Oh I ordered some headphones from Best Buy which y'all will see. Yeah. Nothing crazy, honestly. But something, like I said, was just telling me I should vlog. Something's telling me it'll get more exciting this week, so. Welcome to the vlog. I'm off of work, about to run some errands. Wearing this black Nike dry fit windbreaker, white tube top, black leggings from Amazon, white Nike running shoes from Amazon, and the yistle. <laughs> so yeah, let's go run some errands and be productive with our lives. So I'm currently sitting in the car waiting for my wax appointment, which is at six and it's 513. I was going to run some errands at first, but the Marshalls that I wanted to go to is about 15 minutes out. I have a Marshalls that's closer to me, that's five minutes out, but I didn't want to go to that one. So it kind of put me in a bit of a predicament. And I also want to stop by Best Buy to get those headphones and earphones that I ordered, but I'm going to my friend Brooklyn's place to help her blow dry her hair. And she lives literally two seconds from the Best Buy. So there's no point in me going to the Best Buy and then coming here and then going back over there. So I'm just waiting in the car. I'm kind of hungry. I kind of want some kava, which this is why I wish I would have just stayed at home because I would have just ate food at home. But now I'm thinking about kava and I've actually been thinking about kava all day. But I'm about to read. And also, you know what I noticed, y'all? In every single vlog, it seems, or maybe not every single vlog, but almost every vlog, I get a wax and I do my nails. I'm definitely gonna do my nails <laughs> either tomorrow or the day after. I plan on doing my nails for sure because this one broke. This one always breaks first. It just, that's, this is all the nail that comes off first, and then it's this one. But I need to do my nails. They've been on for like two and a half weeks now. But, um, yeah. I always get a wax and I always do my nails. Last time I vlogged and I got a wax, it was a full bikini. Right now I'm about to get my armpits and my happy trail, but what can I say? I like to be hairless and I like to have my nails done. And that's just me in a nutshell, okay? I'm gonna read this book. Finley Donovan is Killing It is what I'm currently reading. It's a cute, cozy, I think it's gonna be a mystery, a murder mystery. I'm only 28 pages in, so can't really say too much, but. I believe it's supposed to be a cute, cozy murder mystery. We love a cozy murder mystery, don't we? We do. So yeah, I'll see y'all once my wax is over. Hello, so I just got my wax. I also got some kava because I don't know I was craving it. I got the super, no, it's called the Splendid Greens. Splendid Green Mix, I believe. I usually get the romaine, but they're dang near out of romaine. So I got a little bit of romaine in the Splendid Green Mix. And I always get the harissa chicken, but I also got two lamb meatballs. Which I'm really excited to try their lamb meatballs. But I also got my package from Best Buy, my two headphone and earphones. But I'm not going to show those just yet because I'm headed to my friend Brooklyn's place. I'm gonna blow dry her hair and also she's going to Alaska on a cruise, which is why I'm blow drying her hair because she's about to get it braided and she needs to go to H&M. So I'm gonna go with her and then whenever I get back home, I'll show you all the headphones and earbuds. Unless I forget, then I'll show you tomorrow. But I'm pulling up to her place now. I'm so excited to eat my kava. Today's a wonderful day. Are these such, that's not the same color either. Mm. Hmm. Maybe they buy the sweatshirts. <laughs> 
Howdy, I'm back. I just went to Marshalls and got some things. And I figured I'd show you all my little haul from Shein too. I really don't feel like trying this clothes on. Like you're gonna see me try it on in this video, but I myself am not gonna try on at this exact second because I just ate some jalap and cheesecake and I'm so full. But let's be serious, okay. Okay, so mini Shein haul. Do you hear this dress? Why does it sound so cheap? Also, it has like some space right here, which I'm really not a fan of. Besides that, the fit is nice. Like it's definitely a very sexy black dress. And I like that it goes past the knees, but it just sounds like I have a trash bag on. So I'm definitely going to be returning this. All right, so this is the next dress. I don't have a bra on, so I'm holding the girls. But one wrong move, and my underwear showing. Like, if I lift my arm, my underwear showing. I just don't understand why they would put the slit right here. And I used to own a dress like this, but it didn't have a slit. It was a lot better, and it was still super short, but I sold it. And this one, I love the color, but I'm not gonna go out and risk my coochie cat coming out, especially because I would wear this at night, like going out, going out. If I do one little wiggle, hey! that thing gonna come out. So this is not staying either. It's a shame because the color is really pretty. And I was going to wear it with this really cute silver bag. And I just ordered some silver sparkly shoes, but can't do it. I decided to move to the kitchen because I figured the angle might be a bit better, but this is the first dress I got. It's baby blue, it's one sleeve and the sleeve is sheer. I think this dress is so flattering. So cute. If you know me in real life, you know I mostly wear neutrals. When I do wear color, it's usually an army green, a baby blue like this, or a really nice dusty pink. And this is just so flattering. I think it would be great for daytime. Brunch vibes is what it's giving me with some cute white or nude heels. I love this one. I feel like it's classy, but you still get a little bit of skin, but not way too much, you know? Okay, so this is the next dress. It actually comes all the way down. And I think this was God telling me that I should not be wearing hoochie clothes because I graduated from hoochie clothes, but I figure I'm going to a convention. Let's go a little hoochie-ish. No, it's not my portion. I'm definitely not keeping this either. First of all, it looks so plain and drab from this angle. And then you get this high slit. It's too high considering how clean it looks in the front. And we do have some open back action. I don't have it tied well at all. And I also am wearing a bra. It's too plain and then too revealing. And I'm not keeping this either. And I just think the Lord doesn't want me to dress like any sort of ashawa. And if you like this outfit, it's okay. I'm not calling you an ashawa. Because look, I bought it, didn't I? So next is this bodysuit. I would not wear them with these pants because these are long jeans. I think they're a little too baggy for this outfit, but it's not about the pants, okay? This bodysuit, I love it. As I told y'all, when I do wear color, I love a blush pink. I have a similar top to this from Shein, but it's not a bodysuit. And I love the sleeves. It just is so feminine, so girly, so classy, chic, cute. It's I love it. I think this is also very much daytime brunch vibes. Ugh, I just feel so feminine and cute and I love a baby pink. I've been told hot pink is also my color, just pink in general is my color. So, I love this. This is definitely one of my favorite things that I got. All right, so again, I will not pair this with these jeans and this bodysuit isn't buttoned because I actually need to rip and change and go to work. So it looks a little disheveled, that's why. But this bodysuit is really nice. Let me try to fix the armpits. I also don't know if I have this on back. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> I also don't know if I have this on backwards or not, but I believe these are bat wing sleeves. I'm not positive. Bat wing might be when it goes like this actually. But some nice unique sleeves. It has these strings, which I don't even know. These aren't even adjustable, so I'd probably just tie these in a bow so they're not so long. But again, off the shoulders, feminine. I feel like whenever I get any piece, I'm like, wait, do I have it in black or white? And today I just went to Marshalls and I exchanged that suitcase. I did get some shoes that are on sale. So these are Rien Fittadini, some Italian designer, but they're the clear stilettos, except for they have these really pretty crystals on the front and some silver. 
And then I got these heels by Nine West that are this super bright hot pink. It's giving Barbie. I have to get a bag to match these now, but I've been trying to get more colored heels just to grow my collection. And I've been wanting a bright pair of pink, so glad I got those. I did get a dress. It's a very casual dress. It's gray with a collar and it's super, super, super soft. And honestly, probably just wear this to run errands or go shopping because dresses are the best thing to go shopping in. And then I got an Apple Watch band that is this really nice cream color because mine is light pink. And I've been wanting a neutral that I could wear with anything. And I used to wear the little sparkly cute ones, but they turn colors very, very quickly. So that's why I don't really wear those anymore. But this is super adorable. I'm gonna actually put it on now and hope that it fits. So ignore the fact that my screen protector is in quite a state, but I wanted y'all to be the first to see that this was already broken. So that's depressing. Yeah, like what would she do without me? Y'all, so I'm here with the girls today. And this one reminded me I'm supposed to be vlogging. What would she do without me? Not here I was enjoying the day, not vlogging. Show my OTD, show my OTD. Oh, it was you? No, I think she was no. You, you first, okay? Oh. So I got Epi, she's fresh off work. We got the nice black dress. Okay, do a small spin. Got the little Michael bag, yes. the new loafers. It's yes. giving worker bay chic, okay? Yes. Then we have our colorful queen. She's a little color pop dress. Ice cream color. Okay, look, look at the bag, look at the bag. Okay. Look at the feet, look at the feet. Yes. Okay, yes. carry yes. in, yes. carry in. Yes. Auntie's wearing how I sell back. Yeah. It's giving business chic. Business chic. It's giving luxury, modern luxury. Hey, look at those yes. shoes. Yes, so. Yes, yes so. Yes. yes, so. Don't play with that girl. I She's not with a vibe. The fire is in the museum. Kai, 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 kai. Fine girl. Kai. Right kai. kai girl. Yes. Kai. No people. Yes. None. <laughs> More local artists, a lot of minorities, lots of black artists, and they had stores behind the art. By the time we hit the third floor, it was more of the regular, for lack of a better word, museum. And we were in there for an hour just on two floors. It was pretty interesting. So we're gonna get us some food and maybe some beverage. A food and a beverage. A food and a drink. A wholesome, wholesome Wednesday evening. Wholesome Wednesday evening. And then back to work tomorrow. Let's not think about it. Oh. It's us. It's us versus the, the world. Period. period. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're at King's Kitchen. I got the black and salmon mashed potatoes double mac. She got the black and salmon mashed potatoes mac and green beans. And this one. She got the chicken. <laughs> Chicken and rice, fried chicken, mac and cheese, collard greens, mashed potatoes. Got some little cornbread, little biscuit, you know. So yeah, we're about to eat up. I think I called the salmon, y'all. This is catfish. I've been calling it salmon all night long. This is a catfish. I'm sorry. Happy Friday. I did not vlog yesterday because literally nothing happened. But I just opened. Ooh. I just opened these and I figured I'd show y'all. I know, I still haven't done my nails. I'm supposed to do them today. But first of all, look at how cute this little case is. And look at how pretty they are. The little rose gold beads. I don't know how to use these at all. I think this is a left ear. Let's see how it fits in my ear. That's really the most important thing. Will it fit in my ear? Oh, well, it's giving it won't. <laughs> Where'd it go? 
But anyway, I'm at work today. During my lunch break, I'm going to go to Crate and Barrel and get some new cups. Because I've been wanting to get new cups because I got some stainless, stainless, stemless glasses before I moved here from Marshalls. And I really just got the cheapest glasses that came in a set of six because when you move, you buy so much stuff. And moving is quite expensive. Like, my bed frame and nightstand was $1,700. My mattress was $700. My couch was over $2,000. So, I mean, that's just three things. And those three things are already, what, like $5,000, $6,000. So, you spend a lot of money moving. And I didn't want to spend a whole bunch on dishware. And so, I don't mind my forks and spoons and plates. But I do have some issues with my cups. I got a pack of six cups. One broke in the sink because I think I dropped it. The other one broke in the sink because my friend dropped it. And the other one literally somehow got stuck to the coaster when I went to pick it up, just broke in half. So like, okay, I'm done with these. They're very fragile and because they're so thin, they sweat a lot and a lot of condensation builds up on them, which I really don't like. It actually messed up one of my coasters because it has like glue down the middle. So I really wanna get some new glasses that don't sweat and are thicker and will be really nice for coffee. And just having ice water, cause I try not to put ice in those glasses because they sweat so much. Mm -hmm. In the world you don't know what I really need. Quick update, I figured these earphones out and I think they're a winner. These are so smart. This little part I was trying to put into my eardrum, but this part goes into the ridge of your ear so that way it doesn't fall out. This is like the smartest thing I've ever seen. I feel like these would actually work well when you're running because they're so smart the way they designed these. So Galaxy, you got one up on Apple. I'm listening to Confess by Colin Hoover on audio because I tried to read this book on paper and it was literally hurting me trying to read it. <laughs> but audio I think is the correct format to consume this book on. It's so much more enjoyable on audio. I was not a fan reading it on paper, but yeah, if you're interested in reading Confess with Colin Hoover, get the thing on audio. I'm reading it through Libby, the library app. So yeah, that's my little update. I'm going back to work. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> So these are 35 and they're actually the glasses I was looking for. They're pretty thick, but I might get some other ones. Look at these. These are cute and bougie, but. So I had a very successful, almost way too successful crate and barrel trip. I wanted to buy six glasses and I got glasses, champagne flutes, red wine glasses, white wine glasses, plates, bowls. Y'all will see, I'll show you guys a little haul, but. It was supposed to be a $24 purchase turned into $160 because I just found a reason to justify every single thing I bought and I don't regret it. All I regret that I have is that I just reselected the cashback categories for my card and Crate and Barrel was one of the options under furniture and home furnishing stores and I didn't pick them because I didn't think I was going to buy any furniture this month besides patio stuff. I didn't think I'd be buying glasses and that they would qualify, but that's my only regret. Besides that, I'm happy and I can't wait to show you all when I get in the house. Okay, so here's my new glasses. I got four of these red wine glasses. I believe these were seven, six ninety-five a piece. Then I got four of these champagne flutes and because of this lighting, you might not be able to tell, but they have this iridescent opal finish. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting. It's quite upsetting but these are so cute they also have them available in multi-purpose wine glasses but i wanted them to be really special and i don't drink champagne every day so i got those and they had a deal where four were thirty dollars they also sell these for deals if you get eight of them eight of the exact same and i didn't need eight so these are white wine glasses they're the same style but white wine i think these were 5.95 a piece i'll link down below everything that i can and then this is what I originally came for were these, which were $2.95 a piece. They come with lids if you want lids, but the lids don't have a puncture for a straw. So I didn't get those because I felt like it was useless. But this is why I came in. These feel really nice. They're super thick and they were so inexpensive. And then these <laughs> were on clearance. So I won't be able to link these down below most likely. But 
They're really nice, heavy stoneware. So these are the salad plates, the cereal bowls, the soup, cereal, salad, whatever bowls, and the normal flat plates. They had four plates left, so I just went ahead and got four of each. And these are all $2.95 a piece, I believe. So I'm going to put these on a dishwasher besides these ones because these are hand wash only. But I'm going to put the rest in the dishwasher so that I can put them away. All right. Happy Saturday. I haven't vlogged too much today. It's currently about 3.48. What have I done today? So I did go on a run earlier with my friend F.A. We ran with Mad Miles, which is a running club here in Charlotte. Definitely check it out if you're looking for a running club and you're particularly interested in running with a lot of by people it's pretty nice just in my nails i've done this color several times before it's a really light pink i don't remember what it's called it's from valentino if you really want to know just comment and i will leave it down below but just a little acrylic overlay on my real nails i cut them down first plans for the rest of the day i plan on editing a little bit since i did get home early i didn't have to work for as long i want to finish editing my charlotte weekend vlog which is a really fun vlog I know a lot of my vlogs, I kind of just sit here and talk to y'all, but that one's a lot less talking and a lot more doing. So I'm about to finish editing that vlog. I need to edit my GoPro footage from when we went white water rafting. I'm gonna do that. And then hopefully by the time I finish doing that, it'll be like 5.30 and my friend F.A. will come over because we're going to a Nigerian restaurant and bar tonight. Me, F.A. and Bridget. It's called Lags, L-A-G-Z. It's apparently authentic Nigerian food. So I'm pretty excited. We're gonna do that. And probably come back home and just watch the movie and chill. I did finish reading Confess by Colin Hoover. I listened to it on audio. I think I mentioned that earlier. And it was honestly a nice listening experience. I feel like that book should be consumed on audio. The narration was really good. Oftentimes my issue with listening to romances on audio is that it's a woman narrating the man's voice and it just sounds so fake. But because Colin Hoover tends to switch POV every other chapter between the hero and heroine, we have a male and a female author. Or narrator and it was it was pretty good it was a good listening experience i rated the book four out of five stars i think if i would have read it on paper it would have had a lower rating editing life this is the clip i'm waiting for imovie to load as you can see she's very slow this computer is from like 2010 so <laughs> we're doing white people activities y'all's my friend fa the bestest the bestest my yoruba angel that's what we call them now only yeah. because of her. She's changed the game for <laughs> all the Yoruba people. And that's just on point blank, period. <laughs> We're getting ready currently. I'm about to get Bridget from the car. About to get our bezo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Let me get the door for you, okay? Let me get that for you. It's her with a bust down bob with the bay. It's giving Barbie. Why do we have well, to end the, the, the map? Just 
love profit. What pot is meat pot? That's a real question. Y'all, so each of us got the red snapper with the love and it's like tomato soup, plantain. Me and Epe both got it grilled. Bridget got it fried. And we're really hoping it's gonna taste good because we've been disappointed so far. As y'all know, we're all Nigerian based. So we know how the food should be tasting, okay? And it's not tasting. It's, it's not giving. It's, it's not giving two, three, four. No, it's giving it's four, one, nine. to end off today's vlog i just had a really great sunday morning i actually just got told that i don't have to come into work today because it's july 4th weekend so it's just so 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 dead at my second job i got sent home yesterday after an hour and a half but work five hours today i just told i was just told to not come in so that kind of sucks because i wanted to come in and make some money but it's okay. I ended up watching a sermon. I watched one of Michael Todd's sermons. It was called Distractions in the Deep. If you watch Michael Todd, then you know he did a series. This was the last video in a series. And I actually haven't watched the other videos in the series. So I want to go back and watch those. But that video, that sermon was such a blessing to me. I have not really been where I want to be spiritually in terms of reading my bible praying being in communion with other believers i used to have a church home down here but after some instances that occurred i don't go to that church anymore and since then i just really haven't been as intimate with christ as i would like to be just being vulnerable and being honest and so watching that really just inspired me to refocus on what my priorities are with my faith with my purity with my finances just with everything so I really, really enjoyed watching that sermon. And then I also finished reading Revelation today because I finally finished reading the New Testament, which was a goal of mine. So I'm about 52 or 54% finished with the entire Bible because I've read all the New Testament and a handful of books in the Old. So I'm going back to the Old Testament now, trying to read all the books in the Bible. But I feel so blessed by that word. I'm about to go to Walmart to get some things for the house. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you all in my next video and have a blessed day. Bye.